Hey, welcome back. So we're still into the SAS installation. And this is the second option which I'm going to show it to you. And we're going to do it with the help of the Node SAS. All right. So the first thing you uh, again you need uh, npm and for that to install you know a node sas which is in package and for that you know you need node.js and I have shown this earlier but uh, let me show it once again if you have not watched the previous video so just a quick one so if you want to see if you have node installed so just check for node dash dash version if not go to the website nodejs.org and download and install you know the version for your or uh, your for your operating system yeah and we're gonna stick to this uh, lts version all right okay so once that is done so the next thing what we need we need node sas and again if you need to check that if node sas is already installed on your system glo globally so node sas and version if it gives me a version you know something so that's fine that means it's already there otherwise npm you know node package manager i for install if you want to install it globally which i would say yes please do that so i then minus g and then node sas and run it yeah if you are on a mac and you get an error some permission kind of thing so you can include sudo in the start you know and then it would ask you for your password admin password and then you would be able to install it i'm not going to do it because i already have all right now let's uh, see that how we can so have it included in our project so this is the project which we had been working in our previous video but let's close this and we're gonna start from scratch so we can see that how we can add it in a in an entirely new project so let me create a new folder i'm gonna open go to my desktop and sas crash course and let's say sas setup to create and let's open up this folder let's create a new file index.html let's have some boilerplate html5 and i'm gonna link this file of css which we don't have but don't worry we're gonna have it so i'm gonna place this inside my css folder and i'm gonna name it style.css yeah all right so let's have a new folder css and i'm not gonna place the style.css in this one and i'm gonna have another folder scss and that's where like you know we would be placing our sas files i explained this in the previous video yeah but uh, that's the convention you know that's where we're gonna store it and uh, why we're gonna have more details uh, on this one you know we can say it's just to keep our code organized as well that you know let's have our css files in this folder and all the sas files in this scss folders if we keep those on the root you know nothing stopping us but you know that would be really really too much clutter over here you know for among all the files all right so now let's go to the terminal and i'm gonna do it within visual studio code if you want to do it in the terminal over here you can do it but then you should be in the same project yeah in the same project uh, folder you know with uh, uh, if we open the terminal in our visual studio code so we are already in this project see it is there in my uh, prompt that it says sas setup 2 this is my project if i need to further check it i can check my current directory and it says sas setup 2 yeah all right so to have it done with the help of node sas and we installed node sas already globally yeah and though we could have done included it only as part of this project as well but if you are continuously working on you know node sas project uh, or sas projects with the help of node sas it makes all the sense to have it done globally so over here we're going to create one package dot json file and we're going to include our scripts within that yeah so don't worry if it sounds complicated 
so how we can have our package.json file created for that you just simply need to give the command within your again i'm saying within your project folder npm init all right it's going to ask you some questions so we, we, we can stick to the package name what it is by default giving us uh, setup to if you want to change it you can type it here version i'm going to stick to what it is giving description if you i need to add any description do that or leave it blank entry point just leave it default test command i'm not going to give anything for the moment get repository i don't have any yeah keywords no need to include author you can include your name license yeah isc i'm okay with that like all the default and just press enter 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 and what we got we got a package dot json file yeah so this is the file which gonna hold all of the dependencies or the scripts you know or the packages what we need so the benefit of this file is that you know whatever the packages i need for the development of this project yeah and i install all of those packages with the help of npm you know package manager have it over here basically when you are really working on a node.js project there you know uh, it makes all the sense in fact i'll do, I'm, I'm gonna do another course on node.js so all of those details will be there but uh, over here even for our website as well where we are only working on sas yeah so uh, I, I can get use of some package managers uh some packages with the help of npm package manager you know uh and and have those included in here and if i sh ship this project you know to another developer or give it to someone so all of those packages which are installed here i don't need to forward those all i need to do is i need to forward all of my other html and uh scss and css files and this package dot json file will go which would have a reference to all of the files you know all of the packages so then the whoever is receiving it they can simply you know install the packages from this file so that that that, that comes really handy yeah but anyway that's 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 not that's that that we we really don't need that as part of here this course i just care to explain for that so keep that in mind all right so we have this package.json and it holds a test script so of course we're not going to use this script rather we're going to write our own script which we will be in need of to compile our scss file to a normal css file so let's say that we're going to name it compile project yeah so this is the name so anything before the colon within the you know uh, quotes so we can give it any name yeah and over here this is where we're gonna write our command and i have provided this command but i would explain it you know what exactly is the meaning of this so here i said start project whatever name you want to give and i said node sas that's the command you know that's the package we've installed globally and if you want to look further you know what is happening what are these switches uh you can go to um node sas npm you know this npm js.com uh, it, it is a repository tons of packages there which you can use or install for your project so here node sas it really tells you that you know what it can do how you can install we already said npm like you know you can just use the shorter version i or you can write full thing install uh, minus g is of course for the globally installing it globally you know and what i want to show you here uh, rather than going through all of these things if we go down and further scroll it down the important bit only for our you know scope where exactly is that should be somewhere all right these options or these switches yeah so minus w dash w the shorter one of shorter version or dash dash watch you know we're gonna use it dash o output directory we're gonna use this output style you know the css should it be nested expanded compact compressed you know which one mostly we would be using it during the development expanded and when we are publishing our project 
we will be using a compressed file of CSS so the size of it is reduced yeah that's what we will be using it and what else yeah I think pretty much that's for now yeah nothing else uh, for the moment this would be more than enough and it also explains that uh, some of the things related to these switches yeah and there are some other binary configuration parameters but we really don't need those as of now so we're just going to use this yeah so back to our project and uh, in our packages dot uh, package dot json file so i need to run this command of course by, uh, by writing and saving it nothing gonna happen till the moment i run this script so we're gonna see how this is happening so dash o yeah that is for the output and what i'm saying i want to output in the css directory and i want to take the file from scss directory and that's more than enough i don't need to defile the file name yeah and let's say output style output then style that's the switch and i want expanded though that is by default but i'm writing it purposely and we saw earlier you know with the help of or rather before let's let's try it just in this way before adding the watch switch yeah so now how i can run this uh script yeah or this package so before that let's write some CS a css file yeah so i'm gonna have a new file and let's call it style.scss yeah this is our file and body background color and i'm gonna say blue okay let me run this project open with live server and here it is and at the moment that background color you know blue is not working and the reason for that is because this scss file is not converted to anything yet to any css in our index.html we have style.css linked which doesn't exist even if our project is running so to run this i'm gonna have the command npm run and then whatever the script name i have given that is compile project so i'm gonna say oops not here save it come back compile project yeah all right so the moment i run that so it has given me something it's a rendering it says rendering complete saving.css file wrote css to blah 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 on this path and wrote one css file if we check in our style.css css there is a file style.css and says background color blue that's exactly what we wrote over here whatever the commands we have given yeah and if i go back to my the spade so it is blue yeah again the same thing we're checking right now but with a different approach again i do the same thing i say green it's still blue because my style.css it still says blue because it has not been updated and for that i need to run this command again and if i do it see my cs style.css even if it was opened it updated automatically and my project is updated all right so in our back to our uh, package.json and in our script so here rather than doing this command again and again and again i simply add dash w that's the watch switch and now if i run this npm run compile project the same and now there is a you know uh, this this is running and uh, i can press ctrl c to stop it let me run it again now i don't need to run this file you know or that command again to, to compile that as css to css it's going to happen automatically and to show it let me change that to something like gray okay and the moment i pressed save see it has give, given me some output and anytime i do change and save it's going to render the file because my watch switch is working so this command is running in the background and this is gray yeah and the same thing what i'm doing here okay 
So I can do it from the terminal window as well. Let's go to the terminal window and I have to be in the same project. So let me go to CD SAS setup 2. Yeah, now I'm, I'm in the same project and my command was npm run and the name of the script was compiled project and here it is yeah now let's do that to light coral something like this and if i go back to terminal so see the same message i'm getting here rendering complete yeah and actually when we were in the last video when we thought that there is no output actually there was an output but i didn't notice it was really down the screen i didn't on my terminal window i did and i did not scroll that so over here every time it would render the file it would give me an output at the moment there is only one output at the moment and my background color is changed and now if i go back and do this change this again and yellow green and the moment i do that go back to my you know this uh, terminal which is running and you see this is giving me another output every time i save it's gonna watch for it and create my css file again and here it is yeah this time it is yellow green exactly as i defined in my scss file all right again this is another way of doing it and um, let me stop this process yeah so this is the second option up to you which one you know you you, you are more comfortable uh, with i use this uh, approach like you know having with the help of nodes us a lot it gives me flexibility to add you know dependencies over here in package.json file and just to show it to you let's say that i did not have this node sas installed as part of like you know or, or globally on my system and i just wanted to have it for my project you know as a as 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 the development dependency only so for that what i can do i can have it npm install node sas and i can have one switch so i think it is saved def let me do that and see now it is installing that even if it is globally there but i'm not installing this package at the moment globally i said save dev yeah i did not include the g so uh, uh, omitting the switch g that means that it is installing in this particular project only the last thing saved dev was that i wanted to have it saved as part of this package json file as a development dependency also only for the development yeah not for the publishing if I want to have it uh, as the part of the publishing as well, then I would omit that save dev. So see in my dev dependencies, now this node SAS 6.0.1 is there, even if it is there globally. And now we can see all these node modules. If I expand it, that's what I was saying that all of my dependencies or node modules, uh, whatever I need, you know, I can install it, have those included as part of my package.json file now when i need to 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 give this project to someone else so what i would do other than this node modules folder i'm going to give each and every other file now that means that they would be getting that package.json file as well and with the help of this package.json file they would be able to install each and everything and just to to show it to you how it works let me delete that move to trash so let's say that i had it i had all the dependencies in the package or jss uh, uh, json file i had this node modules and i have i have given it to someone or i have received it in this shape from somebody else yeah some other developer and i only have the package.json but i don't have any required dependencies installed as part of my project now i come to my project and all i need to do npm install it's gonna look into all of the dependencies whatever part of my uh, project uh, part of my package.json file at the moment it was only node sas if there is anything else that would also be installed and see this node underscore modules is created again yeah so basically this is the beauty of it that you can ship 
without giving these packages to you know and and making a big file and you can just uh, ship your project without this just with the help of this package.json irrespective of how many packages you are you have everything will be you know uh, over here and you uh, anybody you know getting hold of this project will be able to install these packages required just with the help of this package.json file all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for being with me and i'll see you in the next one